Hello everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood chiropractor, Dr. Chad Ralston at the Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center. We're trying something a little bit new with these little videos. I'm, I'm driving into work right now. Today is March 16th, Monday, March 16th, 2020, and uh, we got ourselves a pandemic happening with the, uh, the coronavirus. Uh, there's some things that you should probably know. Um, about the coronavirus, it's it's uh, it's a common virus. This is a different strain of it that they're concerned about. Okay, it's it's listed in the cold virus section. However, it can cause fever, it can cause chills, it can cause some respiratory uh, uh, distress. Um, that's what they're most concerned about because that can cause um, a depletion of your immune response, which means that. Uh, um, pneumonia can take hold. So if you have some type of chronic uh, pulmonary condition like COPD or if you have a uh, history of uh, being susceptible to a lot of colds and flus, um, you might want to uh, uh, take notice and, and, and uh, govern yourself accordingly. Um, I will tell you that um, Chiropractic care, the adjustments, are one of the best things that you can do to increase the immune system within your body. And what's proof of that is how the chiropractic profession in the first place got licensed in, in uh, pretty much the all 50 states back, uh, oh, about 100 years ago during the, the Spanish flu pandemic of 1917. That was during World War I. And uh, I tell you what, um, you, can, you can Google it, you can look up the flu pandemic and chiropractic. I can actually put a link to one of the better uh, videos uh, that can describe the whole process to you. But uh, um, the, the chiropractic profession, uh, really uh, was a champion of that time. Um, basically because our medical system, there were 60 million deaths from the great flu pandemic of 1917. And um, chiropractic was one of the shining gems um, because the medical system at that time was totally overrun. And so for a lot of communities, uh, the only option was the local chiropractor. And adjusting the spine proved to be an immune system builder. Today we understand the neurology behind it. We understand uh, a lot of the intricate uh, connections from the nervous system into the immune system, um, which has is, is, is <laughs> come quite far in the last uh, 20 years that I've been in practice, uh, the understanding of that. So if you don't believe me, that's fine. Just you know, check it out for yourself. The great flu pandemic and uh, plus chiropractic in your search field and you're gonna you're gonna see some things um, basically what happened is like I said the the medical system was totally overrun and the only uh, local doctor that people had to go to was the chiropractor and we had much better survival rates uh, in Davenport Iowa alone and that was the birthplace of chiropractic um, the survival rates um, for um, for the medical profession were one in every 15 people did not survive. Um, and they treated around 6,000 patients in Davenport in the medical system. Uh, chiropractic uh, treated uh, what was known was about uh, 4,800 to 5,000 people. Um, and our survival rates uh, uh, their death rate actually was one in every 748 people died. Uh, we even took on the cases that were deemed medically uh, impossible, where the medical system gave up and uh, uh, said that this person can't be cured because uh, it's gone too far. Well, the chiropractor. Uh, started adjusting that patient and they had some great survival rates among that population. So 
you don't have to believe me. Uh, you might think that I'm good for uh, neck and back pain, but that's not what the history bears out. The history bears out that the chiropractic profession, because of its success, uh, uh, really, really blossomed in the, the 1920s uh, and became licensed in all 50 states um, because of this uh, Spanish flu pandemic of 1917. That's when the explosion of uh, the chiropractic profession happened as well because a lot of the doughboys, the World War II vets coming back, um, became chiropractors. Um, it was it was uh, it was an amazing golden era of chiropractic. Um, so so is it going to cure the flu? Nope. It's not going to cure the flu. It's not going to cure the coronavirus, but it is going to affect your nervous system and increase your immune response. Okay, I don't care what type of disease condition that you have. Um, if you don't have a properly functioning nervous system or a properly communicating nervous system, you're not going to be as better off as somebody who does, right? So uh, you might have any number of chronic disease processes. You're always going to be better off if your brain can communicate with your body in a clear fashion. Okay, you see this example and all over the world. So uh, with, with communication of, of, uh, of uh, different organizations, uh, different uh, companies, when a boss can't communicate with the employees, the company suffers, it's inefficient, um, and uh, uh, the co company will probably go out of business. Same thing with the brain and the body. Your brain is the boss, the body is the company, only a trillion or so employees to take care of and communicate with. When there's good communication between the two, good things happen, right? I mean, that's just common sense. So, um, I'm gonna list on here uh, a couple dates that I, I have to be gone for continuing education. That's in May, May 14th, May 28th. Um, also, tomorrow, my wife, uh, her uncle passed away, not from the coronavirus. He has been in hospice for the last, uh, a month and a half or so, and he finally uh, gave up a couple nights ago, and and his funeral is tomorrow up in Minneapolis. So I have to close the office, and I apologize for that. Um, we'll be we will be open on Wednesday again, normal hours. So uh, I probably should have put that at the the beginning of the video, um, but uh, I'll I'll put it at the top of the email so that you you can know that I'm not going to be open tomorrow. So welcome to all the new patients. Uh, I hope I'm meeting and surpassing your expectations. Um, there, the one thing that you got to keep in mind is is chiropractic's more of a lifestyle than a treatment. Um, uh, a treatment means boom, you know, one pill or, or just a couple adjustments, and then you're all healed. Not necessarily true. Uh, it depends on how your lifestyle has been treating you, how much stress that you have in your lifestyle. Um, sometimes that one adjustment can be the miraculous adjustment and get you all well. And uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of lifestyle tweaking. We have to change patterns. It takes some time. Okay. So along with that study of the immunity in chiropractic, they, they found that people that were under chiropractic care for five years or more had a uh, had a 200% greater immune response than people that don't go to chiropractors. Uh, and also had a 400% greater immune response than those with active chronic disease. So uh, that, that was done by um, the director of, uh, <clears throat> um, gosh, out of New York, uh, New York Hospital, director of oncology. Uh, he tested blood serum, serum in people and found that those that undergo chiropractic care have a greater immune response than those that don't. So, it's coronavirus time. Put a lime in it. <laughs> um, just be smart. If you have some chronic issues, play it smart. Stay at home. If you have any uh, symptoms or whatnot, there's going to be some Purell at my office as well. I'll be wiping down the the, uh, <clears throat> the doorknobs and all that type of stuff throughout the day so you can feel safe coming to the office. Just get adjusted. Have a great day.
Bye-bye.